All right, thanks for joining me. I am, I know, not on a farm flipper uh, plot of land. It's because I was kind of goofing off, and I saw someone had a suggestion in the comments that they wanted me to do just a special video of the new items uh, that come with farm flipper, and that sounded like a great idea. So, goofing off, uh, I noticed that you can edit buildings. Um, it's, it's a little goofy right now. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out if I'm being honest. Uh, but like if you grab this and if you press it against the wall, see how it says that, that little arrow? You press that, you can spread this out. But then I got the soffit right here, or uh, whatever it's called, a uh, gutter. I bring this out. And bring that up. That's exciting. Yet, I don't know how to go inside. Wait, does it take a door? Well, let's look at the, uh, we got balconies. I know that there's a balcony coming up. I just wanted to show it to you that there is an option to build balconies. Uh, here is the doors that come specifically with the farm flipper. We also have taller doors. Pretty cool. I am actually really liking those. And you can also make them, of course, smaller to the, uh, oh wait. Oh, you can make them bigger. Interesting. Imagine a fit in between this way. I'm not sure, I'm not sure of the point quite yet. Here's height. So these were the standard doors. These are the new doors uh, that are higher. I have a sneaky suspicion that uh, all the craze is taking a barn and refurbishing the barn into a modern home. I have a sneaky suspicion that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but first things first, for all the doors, the low door, point of a low door is yet. wall. <laughs> anyway, a bit goofy that way. Uh, this door also looks really cool. As you can see, wide range of wood colors, so thank you for that. Um, I really like these emery doors as well. Huh. Scrolling down. We got the traditional barn doors. This double door makes me really excited. So what I'm curious about... What if I didn't want this to be shaped like this? I am not seeing a way quite yet how to change that. Not sure. Quite yet. I'm sure we'll come to it, though. Alright, back to the doors. Uh, this door, too, I think is a really nice door. Place it. Interesting the way that the walls are being built. I feel like it's a little, I don't know, qu not quite right. I think they still have to work a little bit on that. Uh, but, you know, who am I to say? Armor bathroom. Alright, so here is all the new doors that come with it. We'll scroll all the way down. Uh, those look really quite exciting. We have... Very fluffy, fluffy carpet, uh, different color browns, different color blues as well, which is exciting. Grays, they're, they're really embracing the uh, gradients. Reds, 
a white, and a black. I got a browns. Add a simplicity. Let's close the door there. So here's the brown carpet. Have this new wood as well. Same style but darker. And lighter. Ooh, what's this one? This one looks like this could be fun. And it also has a gradient of colors. Much darker one. Wonder. So if we took this, went this way, you could make some fun patterns with that. Interesting. Filing that away for another day. Here is these ones. That's exciting. Hmm. Those are definitely different. Same pattern, just different color. Right, um, we comes in quite a range of colors, and then we got blue. Again, a gradient of blues. Very colorful palette. Greens, pinks. I'm curious about this one. What kind of? not like this one. This one looks like it already needs to be fixed. <laughs> but it could be a look for something outdoorsy. Here's a really rough wood. Definitely don't want to walk barefoot in that. New tiles. I, I do notice they're going for much uh, like an aged look. Everything is a bit more aged. Kind of could be cool in a bathroom. Right, so that takes care of the tiles. Did miss this one here, but we saw that in a previous video. It had me lay it down. Right, we're going to pop up real quick and we're going to... resting. That is definitely a ceiling, isn't it? Backtracking. Uh, garage doors too as well. Um, and I did see in the patch notes in all the previous builds, especially in the luxury houses, you can sell garage doors. That's what they promise anyway. Which is exciting. We have a new scaffolding. We have a mobile scaffolding. We saw that in Where's Molly? There is also roofs uh, for building. I'm not, I, I goofed off with it a little bit. I'm still not comfortable. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of work. Uh, new stairs, uh, attic stairs, this big stairs here that I'm actually really liking. Modern stairs, a ladder, and then this. This looks like um, the kind of stairs that we had for the tree house. Walls, uh, new walls. Take a quick look. Got that in blues and a wide range of colors. We also have woods as well. Wide range of colors. Let's see what is this. Another, uh, it could be indoor, I guess. 
all the same colors. Oop, this matches the floor that we saw. Panels. A wide range in color. We've already seen those. Vertical panels. This is interesting. What's this about? Interesting. Uh, there's a f future build coming up. Um, I'm waiting for the uh, mod maker to finish uploading their uh, stuff. But um, it's going to be probably a Asian themed spa. That's going to be exciting. Uh, oh, we got our X shaped and our V shaped barn. Uh, these panels here, really rough. Uh, different wallpapers. I don't love it as a full room, but it would be a great accent uh, wallpaper. In a wide range of colors. We also have polka dots. Uh, we have these like floral ones here. Reminds me of my grandmother's house. <laughs> Not in a bad way, just <laughs> something I would see in an older home. But again, the whole theme of the farm is I've noticed aged. Ooh, I actually roll it. Oh, I really like that. Really cute. And also, uh, two different variants. Uh, the ferns. Uh, roses, it looks like. Yep, roses. Ooh, look at this one. Again, I think would look good in the future spa that I'm planning on. And I know someone who who's seen all my playlists from like, you've already done like 10 spots. I know, but people keep putting out fun new furniture. Uh, keeps giving me ideas. And this one is super cute too as well. Well, this comes in a, a variant of white. That could be a full full room build. Uh, we have tiles uh, that matches the floors. A black brick, a brown dark brick. These are actually nope. We have four. So those are the walls. So now onto the fun part. Accessories. A bunch of new. Farming tools, spearmint, things to hang up. This is adorable, and also a variety of wood you can do. Jars and jams. Uh, let's real quick uh, pop down to actual furniture, furniture. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, there's a yuppie desk. And a variety of colors. Chest of drawers. Bunch of closet stuff. Ooh, this is really cute. Variety of woods again. Wardrobes, bedrooms. Ooh, classic dressers. Adorable. We have a stool with fur. And we change. No, the fur stays the same, unfortunately, but the wood does change. Mirrors. Oops, this is kind of a cute stool. So fun upholstered benches. Nightstands. Uh, some new beds. Beds, real quick. Thank you, finally, for making beds that look like people want to sleep in them. 
instead of those the first beds that they gave us where they look so uncomfortable. New bunk bed. This bed as well. And this bed. Um. Oh, you can be messy or you can be neat. And it's solid colors. Doesn't look like there's any patterns. Again, exciting. This cabinet. I can see myself using this cabinet a lot. The new ki kitchen stuff. The Via Cena. Ishi, or Haiti. The Haiti set. Oh, entry cabinets, hallway cabinets. Two cabinets. Moth hanger. Two bar stools. With a wide range of cloths. Solid colors, no patterns. Um, I appreciate that they have pulled away from doing patterns. I think they've realized that we would rather they didn't. Okay. Chairs. Ooh, I saw something really exciting. There's new benches as well. More like a school bench, but uh, there's uses for that. Corner seats. Oh, corner is corner. Go in here. Curious about this. This mix reminds me of a train station. Or it could also work for a restaurant. Oh, a western style restaurant? That could be a future build. Uh, the Paxson. Uh, the iris table. This one as well, a little smaller. Nice square table, that's cute too. Uh, tables. This set. Lots of wood. Uh, they're really embracing that worn wood. Like it. Oop, we Oh, thank you. Some decent round tables, smaller size. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, especially this one here. I use this a lot. Ooh. The wedding table? Guys. They must know I'm doing a wedding theme. Which, by the way, I will come back to you. It, it, I haven't forgot about it. So this novella kitchen set. And they got the... Traditional sinks, too? Selena. What's Selena like? It's like a real uh, sink that I would want to be in. More pantry styles. Uh, again, cool. I, I've noticed this also in the Pets DLC and the um, Luxury DLC where they expanded just recently. Uh, I noticed that they've been taking a lot of items from the workshop and kind of adapting it to more house flipper style. And I appreciate it. I know that I feel a little bad for the mod makers that it kind of makes their stuff a little obsolete because there's a in-game version of it. Um, there's also a bar. Look at this. Again, pool for a bar. Uh, I think I'm going to keep that in mind for my uh, Western-themed bar that I just thought of. These standalone cabinets, these are very cool too. And does it hug? That's pretty, pretty decent. Right, um, bar sets, more bar cabinets. What is this armchair? This armchair looks crazy. This leather armchair. Little, this one makes me think more outside than inside. Here's this. Again, they've been making furniture the last few updates that are like something people actually want to sit in and they don't have to break their back. Oh, again, see, I was talking about how they were taking items from the workshop. This is very reminiscent of a very popular build in the workshop. 
So I love it. And I can also choose a wide range wood in this. Um, door rock. Again, in a wide range, you got bookcases, so a huge living room set. The Ella, also wide range. Covered with a mirror in front of it. More bookcases, tons more bookcases. Again, the Paxson. There's a very similar workshop item. I'll show you in a second when we get down to the bottom. Paxson, more wooden shelves. These tall cabinets, which I like. I see myself using it. Uh, a lot more furniture. Too. Oh. Sofa, again, uh, looks like something someone would take a nap on. Hey, there's no color variant for the Basca this here, and I'm not sure I like it in its current. It would be good for one type of build and one type of build only. So, that chair, I'm not sure. Well, the ottoman I don't mind, but the rest of it I don't know. You could only use it for a very specific build and you wouldn't use it again. Uh, the Leopan is cute. Uh, I like it. Wide range of wood. Really rough wood. Uh, Paxson, again. Coffee tables. Huskin, rose. Oh, a little creepy that it's it's rocking already. <laughs> uh, this chair is nice too. Got a cushion in it, corner desk, and an under desk cabinet. Here. And I was going to show you real quick before we look at the next one. Um, oop. Join me. But yeah, look at this. This is the set that's available in the workshop that someone made that's only available in white. So... Uh, like I was saying, something to be aware of. <laughs> right, uh, go back to here. That farm filter on. Yeah, start back up in accessories. A bunch of new tools. Thistle, uh, wine glass. Like a copper wine glass. I'm not sure you want to drink out of that, but each to their own. Uh, these jars. Again, have different variants. Uh, moth cover, you can do blue. Orange jam. Be really cute. I could go in. I have a idea for a bakery that I want to do down the road. Uh, here's a wooden spoon whisk. Utensil holder. Mixer, Can you can do. Look at the name. Culinary. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, uh, vintage camera. Actually pretty cool. Banjos, radios, book about farming. Hold on. And I... I really can't see it. Anyway, uh, book stack about farming, laundry baskets, square baskets, baskets. Oh, look at the little stuffed animals. This cow, this cow is adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at this cow. She's precious. And the piggy and the chick. Electric train. Uh, Weffrel. Uh, bathroom, B 
bath rugs, which also now I imagine, yep, they come in a wide range of colors, which makes the bath rugs from the workshop that's really popular obsolete. Uh, more hanging towels. Yes. Yes, please. Do they come in variants? They do. Nice. And then there's the F and soap. Uh, again, wide range of colors. Those are Guys are totally stealing it from the uh, workshop. All right. Um, memo toilet, Viacena sinks. Sinks are cute. What, uh, double sinks. They've caught on to us doing double sinks. And a bathtub. Adorable. All right. So it's just the Memo toilet, which interesting name. Viacena. I like it. No new showers, though. Uh, decorations. Uh, more ceiling beams. Corner beams. Ooh, more clocks. Classic alarm clock. Again, making the workshop one obsolete. Clocks are pretty cool, and you can do a range of colors and metals. Fireplaces. More wood racks. Ooh, this carpet! This carpet! I like it! A lot, actually. And this carpet, which actually looks like a wood pattern, doesn't it? <laughs> Not a bad thing, just... Uh, no, I guess it's it looks like a clock. Never mind. Uh, um... This is the kitchen carpet. Egg carpet. That's pretty cool. Lemon. Ooh, this could be my new favorite. All right, hold on, we gotta sell this. And it comes in a range of sizes. Okay. This one as well. Small. I sort of do wish they would let us stack the carpets, but they don't. I like that one a lot. Hanging letters is the variety. There's a variety which they took from the workshop because... Look at all these. It's hilarious. So if I did all... We have a bunch of letters here as well that came from the workshop. So, all right. <laughs> Again, not mad about it. It's just something I find funny. Um, okay, scrolling back down. So we got all the letters. Uh, I guess we're not that uh, shocked fact that they have animal hanging things. Uh, weather vane. More mirrors. Again, in a variety of wood. I really like this one. This is a recycled, um, I've seen this before. It's a recycled barn door or barn window type of thing. Classic standing mirror. Uh, it's a little bit of a variant of the other one that they have. They have the classic one. Ooh, look at these. A wide range of pictures. Huge. Look at all of these cool ones. I know this painting from someone. Hmm. Oh. Same pictures but recycled into like standing frames. Photo. Colorful. And they're horses. Meh. Little piglets. Again, in a variety of shapes and wood frames. Standing, not standing. Posters. Small screens, which I'm curious about. 
these casks right here can go in with uh, that old-timey western barn that I was thinking about. Platforms. Platforms. Uh, we have a spinning wheel. Uh, and you can paint them. I'm guessing by the... Yes, you can paint them? Interesting. Alright, uh, milk containers, vases. All very cool. Electronics equipment, just a TV. Lights. Uh, new light switches. Ooh. Cute. Bunch of, I guess, classic lamps. Nothing too surprising. These hanging light bulbs would work great in my wedding venue that I want to do. And then this branch, which would also work in a beach theme. You have the uh, HDTV and also some of the luxury ones as well. Mix those together. All right, very cute. All right, real quick to garden decorations, a new well. Uh, farming, of course, we have a bunch of new farming. Uh, sunflower seeds, pumpkins, beehive, chickens, uh, pig trough. We're going to see more of that as we do the houses. There's a horse trailer. Uh, chicken coop. That's exciting. Furniture. More uh, swings, sun chairs, outdoor toilet if you uh, need one of those. <laughs> All right, um, other hay bales would pick up. Say what? All right, and then we have uh, sun panels, raptors, wheelbarrows, scary crows, hay bales, wedding arch. Guys, guys. I wonder how the uh, mod makers are feeling. Uh, Rip Pinky, House Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, recreation. Here's a playground. Structures. Greenhouse. You can build a greenhouse. That's exciting. And you can even paint it. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to be something coming up. And then surfaces. Uh, more surfaces. Uh, I'm a little confused by. Because. This one already exists, and this one already exists. Maybe just in a more variety? I don't know. Alright. So anyway, that takes care of all the items that you can find in the DLC. Um, I'm going to continue doing the jobs, and I invite you to watch them. I'm sure we'll get to learn how the building mechanism works, and uh, use more of the furniture as well. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will be back soon with more. Also, before I leave, I'm sorry, I was making it sound like we were done. Um, I wanted to show you, adding the add-on to the houses, even though I didn't finish the rooms, um, I didn't paint anything, I just cleaned it, look at how much profit I'm making. I'm not sure that is supposed to be how that works, because I didn't do anything to the building other than place a bunch of the furniture and pretend to paint, so. <laughs> I'll be back soon.